I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is part of our Tight on Time Tuesday series. Compound strength, meaning we're going to combine muscle groups during the same move, which is going to increase your heart rate, causing you to burn fat during the workout. The lean muscle you create is going to increase your metabolism over time. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and it helps me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Now if you have dumbbells, grab them. If not, grab a couple cans of soup or a couple bottles of water. You can use those during the workout. Let's go. Here we go. Start to move. You want to get oxygenated blood, so deep breaths. Exhale. Out to these muscles. Let's do a little bit of squats. Sitting back in your chair. Weights in your heels here. This is quick, but it's efficient. I should mention I am using a chair as a bit of a bench for one round of exercises in this workout. So have something available that you can use to support yourself. You could use a coffee table, a couch, anything nearby, bed, wherever you're working out. Now arms out and in. And up and down. I'm gonna grab my medium set of weights for this first move. It's a squat, we're gonna stand, and then we're gonna twist. There's a huge core element in this workout. By keeping our core strong, we're gonna stay upright long into our later years. Weight is up, squat and stand with me. Deep breath, here we go. Take it down, squat and stand, knee up, just like that. Squat and stand, other side, twist. As you get warmed up, a little deeper into the squat, if you can. Now, if your knees are bothering you during this squatting, just Engage the muscles, come up, do your twist. A little engagement, up, do your twist. Any movement is good movement. Down and up. Or a little engagement, up, twist, just like that. Abs tight here, you're working them. Good, All right. roll out the shoulders. Going back to that position right here. We're gonna squat and as we stand, you're gonna push this weight overhead. As it comes down, you'll squat again. Modify your squat if you need to. Get ready, here we go. Squat, push as the weight comes down, you squat and push. Or engage, push. Engage those muscles and push, just like that. Open these shoulders. Down and up. We're gonna hit everything here. And a nice, compact, efficient 15 minute workout. Now see what those compound moves, upper and lower, lower at the same time. Heart rate's up, I can feel mine. I'm right into my low cardio zone. And as we do more of these, it's gonna go even a little higher. Hammer curl, rear leg lift, just like that. Head of the weight comes up first, here we go. Heel back and down. Think about keeping your hips square here. Don't lift back like that. It's not a huge lift in the back. Engage the glute. The arms, elbows, stay right in at your side. Lift it up and down. Feel that heart rate? And you're burning fat. Well, let's go. When you're in a low cardio range, you burn more fat percentage-wise. Whoops. A little balance work there. Good. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of my heavier weights. If you have options, great. If you want to double up your weight, if you're working with light weight, you can do that. I'm gonna do a curtsy lunge and come up into a bleak lean. So right leg back. Here we go. Curtsy down, bring it up. Over and up, just like that. We're gonna stay on one side. The weight is in the opposite hand of the leg that doesn't move. So it kind of becomes a balancing mechanism as you come down in this curtsy. You can go heavier here. 
really not lifting this weight with our arms or shoulders. We're lifting it with our core. Feel that? We're not good. I really like these short workouts. And good. All right, we're going to the other side. Nothing says you have to do an hour or half an hour. Really, the best thing is the consistency, more than the amount of time you spend. Rather, you do a little bit every day. Get ready. Other leg back. Here we go. A little every day. Then doing, you know, a 60 minute workout, and then the next day, you, know, you really are very sore, and you're not going to exercise then when you've done too much in one day. So, especially if you're starting out, a little bit each day. You'll build up. And before long, be doing 30 and 40 minute workouts regularly. That's what I do with my clients. I build up slowly. Get the habit first. Keep going. One more, come on. Let's finish this one. And rest, good. All right, we're gonna work the back of the arms, triceps. So that's a smaller muscle group. I'm gonna lighten my weight. A little bit of movement here. Again, heart rate up. I'm gonna twist and lift to the back, just like that. Ready, right arm first, here we go. Lift, bring it in, lift. Now think about keeping your shoulders down here. It's tense, you wanna lift with the shoulder. It's all about the back of the arm. Right there is the lift, a lift. So we're not swinging it, we're lifting it. Lift it. One. And I'm going to do one on each side because I want to stay even. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab my heavier weight. This is a lower body combination. One of the only lower body combinations that we have. We're going to step out in a side lunge. You're going to come up to a deadlift. Follow me. Step out to your right. Right knee bends. Come up. Weight's right in front. Hinge forward from the waist. Over, now nice flat back here. Hips go back, feel that in the back of your legs. Also think about right here, weight in the heels for the whole move. Don't let that weight walk into the front of your feet. Keep your abs really tight. Good. Let's get that other lunge over here. And good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stay with my heavier weights. This will be a challenge. We're gonna do a back row where we pull to the waist, then the weight comes down, fly it out, and stand. Ready? Here we go. Take it down. Down, pull to the waist, weight is down, open to the sides, come on up, squeeze. Row, fly. Up and squeeze. Pull back to the hips. That's going to get that back more engaged. Pulling back right there. Takes it out of the back of the shoulders and puts it into your lats. That bra area <laughs> we hear about. This is going to help that. One more. Down and up. And down. Good. All right, so we use the deadlift in that one. This one, we're gonna use the side lunge. We're gonna go to the side, once we're there, give me a row, up, and then the other side. Are you ready? We're getting through this workout quick, here we go. Over, row, and I hope you feel your heart rate up. That's really the goal here, we're getting cardio and strength. Very time efficient. cardio without jumping too, which as we get older, I have learned, <laughs> maybe you have too, that that's not necessarily the right way to go about things if you want to protect your joints. One more each way, let's go. Up, other side. Good. Okay, just flies this time with the deadlift. So I'm going to lighten my weight a little bit. 
flies are smaller muscles in the back and they're also far, the weight is far from your body. So the weight is heavier just by physics. So take it down flat back, open to the side, up and squeeze. Down, fly, up and squeeze, just like that. Now the weight goes right out to the side. Arms are a little bent, leading with the elbow there. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top, right there. Up and squeeze the buns right there. Stay with it. Last one. And up. Nice work. Okay. Top of the shoulder. I'm going to stay with my medium weight here. Going to a wide stance now. Notice my toes are out at a bit of an angle. We're gonna come down in a wide squat. Stand, high row. Follow me, here we go. Take it down, shoulders are up, stand. Pull, lead with the elbows. Biggest thing I see here is this, turning the wrists. Try to pull straight up, lead with those elbows. Down and up, pull. Down and up, pull. Just like that. Pull it. Feel this in the top of your shoulders, back of the shoulders assistant, front of the shoulders. But this is coming over the top of that shoulder. And when you have pretty shoulders, everything looks good. I say that a lot because it's true. And rest. All right, I'm gonna pick up one of my heavier weights. And again, if you don't have options, it's totally fine. Just wanna make sure that I mention what I'm doing if you are changing weights. Otherwise, you're going to hold one of your weights here. We're going to bring our feet really close together. Chair squat, skier squat. Down as you come up, rear leg lift. Put the foot down. down. So this is another lower body combination move. Squat and a kickback. Kick it back. Hitting those glutes pretty hard right there. Down, bring it up. Good. And up. And up. And up. Now this next, our last two, we're gonna use that chair or whatever you have that you can sort of support yourself like a weight bench. Maybe you have a weight bench. Down and up, good, all right. Grab whatever you're gonna use. I could use my fireplace there, but I just wanna show with the chair. I'm gonna hinge forward, put one hand down. I'm gonna put one arm out, same leg is back. I'm gonna crunch and reach. So crunch, abs tight. Kick it back, crunch. Now there is a lot going on here. Your standing leg is working, your glutes are working, abs, hold them tight. So nice round back here, and then reach it out. You need a rest, take a rest. This is a tough one. But you can go as long as possible. Stay with me as long as possible. Got 10 seconds left, come on. If you're this far, let's go. Right on to the other side and that's it. That is it, you put in the work. Set yourself up, nice flat back here. Deep breath, then kick it out, whoops. Balance, reach out, crunch and reach. Abs tight, kick it back. Round the back there. Think about pulling belly button to the spine. Crunch and kick. This is it. Almost there. There it is. Oh, I wonder if that buzzer would ever go off. All right, very short stretch. If you have a little more time, go ahead and pick a longer stretch on the channel. It's a playlist with stretches where you can go and do a seven, 10, even a 20 minute if you have the time. Reach up and over. Stretching is super important. We tend to put our work into the workout, me too, and not put enough time into the stretch. 
So I'm guilty of it right here. We're not doing a huge stretch, but we are doing a little stretch. If you have more time, take it. But I have a stretch out to one side. Stretch out those inner thighs. Take it to the other side. Step back, how do you feel? Should feel good. Nice, short, efficient, fat burning, lean muscle building workout. Other side. Let's so come on up, clasp your hands behind your back and just round those shoulders back. Deep breaths. One more time, deep breath. Exhale, give me a big deep breath in right now. Blow it all out. Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked that workout. Leave me a comment, let me know what you liked or what you didn't like. I wanna make sure that the workouts I'm putting out are things that you want to do. Have a wonderful day. Join me next time.